Hello, cuties. All right. Uh, I'm Simon. This is going to be my review of my screw reviews. This is just going to be a fun video. We're going to go through uh, all the screw reviews on all the uh, all the keyboard reviews I've done on YouTube, and we're going to review the reviews. Okay, it's a screw review review. All right, and we're going to judge them based on. Um, mm, okay, we'll we'll judge them based on cinematicness. Okay, we'll uh, we'll rate it based on uh, uh, audio performance. Uh, we'll rate it based on uh, uh, screw review accuracy and then give it a final score. Yeah. All right. None, none, of, none of this is canon. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So this is going to be a simple, scrappy video where I'm just going to go through each of them and we're going to go check it out. So uh, I'm going to move myself because normally my camera is in the top right when, uh, when we do keyboard reviews. And uh, we'll go through it. Let's check it out. So this is the first one I was able to find. This is my Fox Lab Leaf 60. Oh God, I hated this board so much, but I think I did. So I think this is where like the screw reviews started, but I didn't do screw reviews for a few boards after this. I only noted the screws here because they were problematic. So let's check it out. All right. One of the first things we can tell, or I'll tell you right away, cinematicness, zero, audio, zero, is that when looking at the screws... <gasps> I have zoomed, though. Okay. Two. Two for cinematic. We can see that quite a bit of their finishing has come off near the tip, and uh, this can be indicative of a few things. Uh, this could be indicative of uh, having, having not-so-clean screw taps in the top case. By that, I mean threads. Already, like, accuracy is going down. And we can tell this one here is a little bit black on the inside. Now, normally during the quality control process, uh, as well as uh, during the manufacturing process, uh, the manufacturer will clean inside the screw taps. And uh, it's very common uh, if you've ever... Uh, I mean, uh, fun fact, like if, uh, if you're going to do quality control for a board, assume that uh, they're not at all going to clean your screw tabs. So you hit them with hot air, hot air. You hit them with compressed air. Then you put the screw in and out a couple times just to clean out the threads. Uh, generally, like good manufacturers now will use uh, a sort of putty that will actually fill that hole. Uh, so you don't get metal shavings and stuff in there after the fact. Uh, I've seen that uh, primarily used or originally used on the Chinese version of the Angle by Vertex. QC'd or delivered a group by, uh, you'll know that these do need to be cleaned out uh, once you receive them as uh, dirt and grime and all that stuff can get in there. Uh, now with aluminum, that's not really an issue since uh, you can just thread a screw in there a couple of times, hit it with a little bit of can there. There we but go. With a poly, uh, with a uh, polycarbonate case, the issue is the screw taps themselves are made out of a rather soft plastic with quite a lot of give to them. And the screws you will be using are metal. Now it is possible to use polycarbonate screws, but it doesn't necessarily remedy the situation. The situ <laughs> innovation, boys, innovation. I invented polycarbonate screws. Let's go, the dumbest idea on the planet. Uh, old Simon's so good, the good times. Oh. The situation being uh, these screw taps will loosen up over time and will have issues keeping the board secure. Now, you may have noticed during my disassembly that the screws at the back of the unit were not even screwed into the top case. Now, this board, I believe, has only been disassembled a few times, and it's already gotten to the point where the uh, the top screw holes are already far... All right, I don't think I give these screws like an actual like rating in this video. I think that's all I cover for the screws, I give I give this screw review a one out of five in all five categories. I know there's four, but there's a secret fifth one, okay? I mean, look at that, OG Simon, you've got the camera that was like over over my shoulder. This was uh, back before I had like, you know, a literal like macro cam on a jib, you know, and like proper overhead and like good audio and better cameras and all that. Hey, the good times. Some people say the good times were better. All right, let's check out the next one. All right, this is the one where the screw... Oh, wait, I'm on the left. Why am I on the left? Okay, I guess I'll go to the right. The hell? 
that caught me by surprise. Oh, this was back before I had a capture card that could do more than one HDMI. So I bought like a video switcher and it would do picture in picture. And that picture in picture was on the top left. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check out this effort. So this was the first uh, board in which I saw the screws. And I'm like, I have to review these screws. Pretty fantastic looking screws. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I have a macro cam. Here are the screws. Like oh yeah, focus. nailed that focus. They are now. Look at those. These are fantastic looking screws. I mean, uh, we can see, you know, a little bit of the coating has come off, but that's fairly normal. Can you guys see the jump in production quality? Like the, it was only like a, a few months, a uh, few months difference between the old video and this video. I had a macro cam. Uh, uh, we could see the screws up close. You can see me and the other camera. That's pretty dope. And the audio is not terrible. Normal as you thread something, but they're nice. Uh, I used a, I used a, a TR4 tool to uh, open up the case. What you can see though is the macro cam is physically attached to the desk. So when the desk moves, the macro cam moves, as opposed to it being like on an assembly where it like holds itself basically and like stays perfectly balanced. Feels bad. And uh, I don't know. This was back before we I had the big bucks. The screws, but there's nothing like nice screws. I've had my fair share of keyboards that just came with absolutely terrible screws and you had to replace the screws down the line and that's just a big pain in the ass when the manufacturer or a group by runner can essentially just provide decent screws and those decent screws cost them pennies on the dollar compared to you know you buying a very small quantity so i i appreciate small little things like this obviously for the price point fun note if you look very closely you can tell that this is the era where i was throwing keyboards onto my bed we all know how that ended that ended great I expect lots of small little things like this, and we'll get to those. Wait, is that it? So let's get those screws out of the way. Really? I don't talk about the knurling? I don't talk about the finishing? And and where'd my, where'd, where'd, where'd my camera go? Why did it disappear? Okay. Three, okay, no, two and a half out of five for cinematicness, okay? Audio is okay. Audio is like a three or four. To be fair, my audio didn't jump up to a five until recently when I got this mic. Uh, in terms of the accuracy of the screw review itself, the screw review review is a zero. This is actually worse than the previous screw review because I don't even talk about the screws. The hell, Simon? What are you doing? All right. Next, we have the F1 review. So this is, this is the keyboard that brought Gion to his standing i'm actually typing on my f1 right now i'd show you but the thing weighs way too way too much so trust me it's a keyboard i still use it's a keyboard i thoroughly enjoy you know i know that like a lot of reviewers will be like i love this and then like you know they just say it they never actually use it like i love every keyboard that i say i love and i do love the f1 it does need a rebuild the build i put in it is terrible but it's a good board and i still enjoy it today let's take a look at our screws that's loud wow Oh, now, camera's still on generally the Generally, when I'm left. doing a screw review, I'm looking for a few things. I'm looking for the finishing on the screws. Okay. I'm looking for how rugged the screws look. And okay. And these screws look pretty darn rugged. And the last, and in my opinion, the most important piece is I'm looking for uh, black dirt or grime on the very ends of the screw. Uh, now, this is something you'll see in a lot of keyboards, and this is caused by improper cleaning of the screw taps after manufacturing. Uh, it's a very important step in the... I mean, it's gonna sound kind of repetitive because I do cover this in like most reviews. Like if I see gunk, I'll explain gunk. Like I want my YouTube channel to be like an educational keyboard YouTube channel, not like a reaction channel or a meme channel or anything like that. So there will be some repetition. I can already tell that like, you know, production quality is okay, pretty much the same. My desk mat is filthy, but hey, that's part of the Simon experience, you know? Uh, I'm not centered in my own camera. Uh, the audio is way louder for some reason. This was before I normalized all my YouTube audio to the same level. Cause like, if you've ever watched YouTube or YouTubers and noticed that like the audio was widely different in different videos, it's literally a button. You, you just press a button on your recording soft, uh, on your editing software. And it'll just like normalize it to minus 20, uh, 23 LUFS, which is like the standard. So this was before I was doing that the quality control and assembly process where a uh, group by runner will have to clean the insides of the threads. Uh, generally, this is done with screws. 
And we can tell that these screws are pretty much brand new. These were not used for the internal cleaning processes, which says that this has been quality controlled very, very well. And overall, the screws look pretty good. Uh, they're nice and sturdy. Haven't had any problems with the screws. Sturdy screws, as opposed to those, you know, like very wobbly, bendy screws, you know. Watch out for those. Definitely watch out for those. Uh, there's no rust, none of that. I, okay, like none of the screws we're ever gonna cover until like we get to a Jane review is gonna have rust, but like having rusted screws on my TGR uh, Jane 2 CE has traumatized me, dude. Like to the point where like everybody has rusted screws. And one of the indicators that I look for uh, when like I'm looking at if like it's a real Jane CE or a fake Jane CE, if the screws aren't rusted, I'm like, ah, that's a fake one, buddy. And finally, let's look at the internals. Oh, okay. That was short and sweet. That is short and sweet. Okay. I mean, they're, you know, I didn't say that they were chrome plated. I mean, they could be zinc plated, but whatever. They're chrome like color. At least the camera's there. Uh, the audio is a bit louder than the other ones. That's fine. I would give this maybe like a three, three out of five in terms of like an actual screw review. You know, there's, there's some things I don't like, you know, I'm not centered in the camera, which I mean, that's being nitpicky. What does that have to do with the screws? I don't know. This is just a retrospective where I look back on my YouTube videos and see what's up and see, oh my God, that's build is so sussy. To be fair, my build is still really sussy. So <laughs> let's not talk about it. <clears throat> All right, next we have the Matrix 1.2 OG, the good Matrix. Not to be confused with the shit Matrix. All right, let's go. Uh, the okay, is my camera a different size? Like my, anyway. The very important screw review. Okay, first of all, I, I think this was the point at which I started normalizing my audio because this is the same loudness as my previous one. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit for me. And then I'm gonna keep it the same for you, okay? The levels say it should be fine. That was a nice transition, by the way, between the macro cam and the overhead cam. Did you guys see that? That was pretty dope. Let's, let's, let's look at it again, watch. The very important screw review. The most important that, part. Look at me switching scenes with my mouse. The good old days where I was just like, bro, stream decks are too expensive. Like, I think this was like at the peak of COVID where it was impossible to get a stream deck. So I'm just like, I click with my mouse, I'm chilling. Of an in-depth review is taking a look at the screws. So these are hex 2.5. Oh, I love the wobble. Oh, so good. Very nice. Looks like stainless steel with a decent coating on it. Okay. Very shiny, very mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been screwed and unscrewed a few times. I can see the gunk right there. Now let's see if, if video me sees that gunk. That There is some gunk. It's not a lot, but there is some. There's just no markings. So the, uh, the steel they're using is of decent quality. One thing I really enjoy is that all of the screws are the same length. That's, I mean, it goes without saying that for building, it's very, very convenient. Uh, however, a lot of keyboards don't do this. They'll kind of mix and match, especially if the angle is uh, a little bit more extreme. Uh, in this case, we're dealing with a four degree angle, so it's A-OK. -okay. All the screws are the same length. The screws look very, very nice. And here, if we inspect the tips of the screws for any residue, we don't see any, which is an indicator that the screw taps, uh, so basically the holes that have been drilled into the case have been cleaned thoroughly. Uh, in the case of not being cleaned thoroughly, you'll see a little bit of black gunk here at the tip. And uh, generally cleaning that gunk out is part of the quality control process before a keyboard gets shipped to a customer. So 10 out of 10 for that, 10 out of 10. I give it a review. I, I give it an actual, I give it an actual score. And uh, love these screws. I actually, all right. Okay, honestly. Macro cam is like still on the table right there and like it's on a little mini tripod. So it's a little shaky. I'm switching scenes with my mouse. You can see like my audio interface here that I used for, for recording, uh, for recording keyboard typing tests. It was terrible. Now I've got like an actual thing. Uh, I've got this whole assembly here. Uh, I did a video about it. It's a terrible video, but like the information there is good. TLD are my entire channel. 
but like I have a matched pair of stereo mics now uh, with like no enhancements, no filtering, nothing. So like you can hear the keyboard as it actually sounds. You can hear the AC because in a real world, like you hear everything. You don't just only hear the keyboard. So any sound test where you only hear the keyboard is an inaccurate sound test. Anyway, that's not the topic of today's video. This is a decent screw review. I give that a four out of five screw review. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, there there was a little bit, of, not necessarily gunk, but the threads were stripping a little bit near the tips of a couple of those screws, and I didn't note it in the video. Though, I mean, that happens when you just put it in and out a lot, so... Eh. All right, let's check out... Oh, boy. Look at this face. This is the, this is the face of a man that has just given up. Of any in-depth keyboard review, that is the screw review. And this is darker than before. Why is it darker? I think this is before like I like had normalized lighting. So I kind of just YOLO the lighting and the exposure. Let's take a look at these screws. Ah, oh, still using the mouse. All right, here are the screws. Now, these may look very large to you because they're on a macro cam. Huh, yes. They are really not. They're very, very small. So there are four screws total. Uh, they are Phillips head, which honestly I would prefer if they were something else for you know long-term usability. Uh, but they are rather small. Uh, this is a screw for the Jaguar plate. Look how thick that is. Now, this is a case screw for the K. This is a plate screw. Just just for reference, so a, uh, a different keyboard's uh, case screw would be significantly larger than this. And these are rather small. Uh, is that an issue with this particular keyboard? No, it is not, because it's it held is. together by a variety of forces. Uh, it's held together by hopes and dreams. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh god, I hated the case so much. We will be reviewing a keyboard soon where the screws are too small and may be detrimental to the board. Uh, for this one, my only qualm with the screws is their Phillips head. I, I mean, can see gunk, I dude. assume that's because of the limitation of the size of the screw. You can't really get anything else in there. Uh, maybe like a T2, barely. But yeah, those are the screws. <gasps> no way. Now these screws... Okay, yeah, it was very clear that I was over it while I was shooting this. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even note the gunk. The exposure for the top-down camera is way off. The audio is okay. Cinematicness, I definitely lose point for. Uh, I'm definitely losing points for cinematicness. I know that I'd, like I'm intentionally saying that saying that wrong, by the way. And uh, for the accuracy of the screw review, I give it like a like literally like a two out of five at best. So like, yeah, this is like a two out of five overall. Feels bad. Feels bad. The K was, you know, the epitome of a feels bad board. All right, next we have the Aru. All right, all right. Okay. Exposure looks correct this time. Let's hope that the audio isn't just like a nightmare. Why am I going fast? All righty, <gasps> on to what many people consider the most important part of the in-depth review series. We've got the screw review. Now in terms of screws, I really, really- You guys can hear that reverb, right? I mean like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to get good audio in like just a random room, but hey. You like these? So there's two lengths. You've got the long ones for the back. Very cool. And then we've got the four short ones, which are out of frame. The short, the oh, four yeah, the short framing. ones for the front side of the keyboard. I really prefer this to using just uh, the same length screw everywhere and then why am I so fucking inconsistent? Why am I so fucking inconsistent? I was just like, no, I prefer when all of them are the same length. Now I'm like, I prefer when they're different lengths. Come on, make up your fucking mind, dude. For the record, I prefer uh, uniform length, unless basically in the back of the case, uh, something like the Jaguar, for example, where the back of the case, the screws are inset so far that you need like the longest screwdriver ever. At that point, I would have preferred a longer screw that basically comes out more. That way I don't have to strip my anodization while screwing it in. And having to essentially drill deeper into the case, which then may cause uh, 
uh, issues trying to get you know a thick-headed screwdriver in there and end up stripping all of your anodization when you're trying to unscrew your, uh, the back side of the case, whereas the front is totally fine. Uh, all of this can be solved just by using longer screws in the back, shorter screws in the front. Now these screws are gold plated and generally uh, what I'm looking for for quality gold color plated by the way, okay? Let's not get wild, Simon. Chill the fuck out, dude. Quality control is looking uh, at the tips of the screws to try and see if I can see any black residue from the uh, screw tap process. It's incredibly clean. These are incredibly clean screws, which means uh, not only are the screws brand new, but the uh, the screw taps of the keyboard have been cleaned during the quality control process. Uh, if you can or can or cannot tell, these screws are actually knurled. Yes, the knurling. Means you've got little ribbing here where you can like grab onto it with your fingers to turn it kind of like uh, the case screws from like your computer case. This is not at all necessary for a keyboard and actually might be detrimental more than beneficial, but I really like it. So, so those are the screws. Okay, I'll take it. Right. I'll take it. That's that's a fair screw review. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's solid. That's solid. I I you know I I I at least explain myself as to why in this case I preferred longer and shorter screws, whereas in the previous video I'm just like no I hate it. All right. Ooh, next we have the frog. Not to be confused with the flog. Oh, my camera moved to the top right. Okay. And let's go to the left. I'm so consistent, boys. I love how leak spin is always there. All right, let's go. Oh, it's so filthy. I love it. Keyboard review, without exception. And that is the screw review. Good introduction. Okay. Am I just going to show fact, two screws? Jian was kind enough to send me a lot of screws, mainly because the first screws he sent me were the wrong size. Feels bad. Let's uh, let's get some let's get some more screws. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, love me the screw review. Honestly, I want to just quit keyboard reviews and just review screws until the end of time. I'm counting down. All right, there we are. Now, they're oh, all the wobble. very clean. Uh, I found no. I mean, they're new. I just poured them out of a bag. What the fuck, dude? Gunk and any of the screw taps of the keyboard, though I have heard some other reviewers, because like a hundred different people got this board, uh, had a little bit of uh, a filth in their screw taps, just a little bit, but nothing, nothing like, you know, groundbreaking. Uh, these are all stainless steel screws from what I can tell. Uh, coating on them looks nice and clean. Uh, none of them are stripping. Uh, every single screw is knurled. Why is it knurled? It doesn't need to be knurled, but I'm down. I'm 100% down for knurled screws. These are great screws. These are probably in my top three keyboard screws. Oh, I'm start. ranking. I'm ranking them. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, Zephyr would be number one. Aru would be number two. And this would be number three. Obviously, number one was the Zephyr. But these do pretty darn well. Uh, there are two lengths of screws. There are two lengths of screws for assembling this board. And that's a good thing. This allows all the screws to essentially sit at the same height once inserted. So what I mean by that is if we only had this type of screw, this screw would sit very far down inside the case and then you would run into the issue. Look at me literally fucking mansplain. It's so good. Issue where if you don't have a screwdriver like this with just a perfectly long tip, you'd end up scratching the hell out of your screw hole area, notably in your corners. Uh, this is a problem with boards like the Jaguar, for example, which I scratched the hell out of trying to use my iFixit kit. Have I not gotten to the Jaguar yet? <gasps> it's the next one. I literally spent months complaining about it prior to reviewing it. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell that like once the review happens, how angry I was. Pro tip, never use an iFixit kit for a keyboard because the tip is not long enough. Therefore, you end up scratching it all up. Feels bad. Okay, that's enough screw talk. Oh. Let's open her up. Okay, okay. All right. Honestly, that was a pretty good screw review. That was a pretty good screw review. I explain a decent amount of stuff. I give a accurate representation of the screws. However, 
you see me pull those screws out of a bag. I don't know if they were like previously in the frog and I put them in the bag and then poured them out again. I have no idea. But those could theoretically be brand new screws. And I'm looking at brand new screws being like, oh, these are great. Yeah, obviously they're great. They haven't fucking been inserted. So that loses points, okay? This could have been a four and a half out of five. This is a two out of five for that because I don't remember if those screws were ever actually in the frog. God damn it, me. All right, next we have the Jaguar. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, look at those beautiful Simon eyes and that beautiful Simon face. Oh, oh. You know, I miss streaming in the bedroom. I mean, like having a stream room is nice and everything, but like there was a certain coziness to it. Alrighty, we have got all the screws out. Let's take a peek at these screws. Oh, it's still wibble wobbling. Pardon apologies for, for wobbly camera. Where was okay. you when one screw is dead? Uh, in terms of screws, I have seen way better. I can see that the threads are already losing their coating. It's countersunk, but it looks like it sat so tight that that lost some of its coating. It's a star head, which I would have preferred a hex personally, but that's kind of okay. Yeah, a hex greater Near than torques. the tips of each of the screws, you can see that the, the threading is definitely losing its color. Realistically, this coloration doesn't mean anything, but I've reviewed a lot of really, really nice screws, and this is not a 10 out of 10 screw. This is an okay screw. It's fine. All right, let us have a look at lettuce. Oh, uh, fun fact, if, if you have not seen, if you have not seen the Jaguar review, literally just watch it from like 13 minutes and 10 seconds up until like a little bit later. I'm not gonna play it live here because this video got demonetized and basically I got zero dollars out of it. I mean, I basically get zero dollars, close to zero dollars out of most YouTube videos. Like it'll average like five bucks over a year, but still we, we go to town on that iFixit kit. All right, listen, that was a decent screw review. That was a decent screw review. That was absolutely a decent screw review. We take those, we take those. Look at that, I don't know, four out of five, screw it. All right, next we have the cipher. Let's check out the cipher. Dude, we still have so many boards to go, wow. All right, let's check it out. Oh, we can see, we can see that my macro cam is on a jib. So if it's wobbly, that's a skill issue, okay? Or my desk is wobbly. Thorough look at the screws. <gasps> it's always good to... Dude, the audio sounds so good, what the hell? To peek at your screws a little bit. All right, macro cam, there we go. It, the screws. it wobble. So I was actually using a hex. I guess it's my table that was just wobbling all the time. I mean, my table, like, I have a better table now and it still wobbles. Like, if I go like this and I just, like, you, you, you can see that wobble. I'm literally just using one finger to, like, move my desk. Yeah. They need to make, like, sturdier tables, dude. I just need, like, a big concrete block to review screws on top of. I think that's the play. New stream goal. Head right here. Without realizing that these are... Starhead. Just say Torx, bro. Thank you. Interesting. But it did fit just fine. The screws look very good. They're all well plated. I don't see any plating coming off, which mm -hmm. is good. Uh, I generally don't see any grit towards the front end of the screws, except for a couple little guys right there. See that tiny mm -hmm. little bit of grit Okay. right there? Yep. But to be fair, we are looking at this at a massive amount of zoom. And overall, to the naked eye, these are fantastic screws. They are. You love to see it. You do love to see it. All right. That's a five out of five screw review if I've ever seen one. Table's a little wobbly, but still, okay? Five out of five screw review. That screw review goes hard. All right, angle. All right, still in the old room. On the big bunny desk mat. Bro, I miss my big bunny. I need to wash it. Boom. Oof. All right. Oof. Now, those of you familiar with my screw reviews will understand that when I saw this, this uh, brown at the tip of the screw, I was very concerned. Because generally, when you see gunk 
at the tip of a screw, that means that the threads were not uh, were not cleaned properly during. This is the first time that I say threads instead of tap, because yes, you tap, but then you thread, and it's the th the thread that'll hold the gunk, not the tap. So, points for actually using the correct word. I'm really bad at words, by the way. If you've ever watched my stream or my YouTube videos, you know I am bad at words. During the manufacturing process. This, however, is not that. So this is basically glue right there. And that can just be easily scraped off. The reason for that being there is actually really interesting. And we'll, uh, we'll talk about it more when we look at the case internals. But basically, inside of the thread, uh, they put a little bit of a glue type substance to make it so that the, uh, the anodization would not get in there and mess up the tolerances of the threads, which is so for anodization, like it matters, but not any meaningful amount because the screw is still going to go in there just fine. But like they were already planning for having slightly thicker matrix coating with something like matrix coating, you don't want it getting in the threads. Because if it's getting into threads, then absolutely you are going to notice a difference. Pretty cool. So it's just something they put in there temporarily to prevent uh, to prevent the screw tap itself from being messed up. Pretty cool. Uh, they did give us additional case screws, by the way. So like, if you do end up with a couple of these, you can just swap them out for ones that don't have the gunk on it, or you can just you can just uh, get it off with your nail or whatnot. Uh, it was one of my notes. I don't think it's a major issue. I don't think Vertex is going to fix it because there's nothing to fix. It's something that's being done for a very good reason, and I understand why it's being done. Uh, it, for the health of the screw threads. For Vertex apologist. No, but for real, like, if, you know, having slightly dirty screws is fine. Like, as long as I'm not seeing metal shavings or, like, you know, actually, like, strip threads. If I see something like this and I understand that, oh, you used a material, so, you know, you don't fill up your threads, okay, fine. Maybe clean it better next time, but fine. For uh, the finishing quality and all of that, it plays a large role. I hope that your units are cleaned a little bit more thoroughly than mine. But worst case scenario, you can get brand new screws from inside the box. So as for the screws themselves, we can see knurling here, which is completely useless for a keyboard, but I do like it. Uh, the finishing on the screws are quite good. I do like the finishing on these screws. I think that's uh, what, zinc oxide? Sockets are solid. I don't see any corrosion or uh, or rust, which is good to see. Uh, the rust. I don't see any plating coming off of the screw. If you guys see any shiny bits, that's probably just my hand sweat. But the quality of the screws are quite good. I would not give these a 10 out of 10 because they're not very shiny and gold plated and PVD. But the screws themselves, I would give them, you know, a solid 8 out of 10 for screws. But this gunk right here maybe makes it lose a point, perhaps. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't mean that the keyboard was not cleaned properly. It just means that there's glue on your screws. It's not actually glue glue. It's some sort of, like, putty they put in the hole. Anyway. That is the screw review, and we. All right, so I give them a seven out of ten. I, I I think that's solid. I think this is a solid five out of five screw review. A little bit of table wobble, but again, what are we going to do about we'll it? Move on to the case internals. Ooh, oh wait, how am I still using my mouse when the? Oh no, that's like me pressing the record button, isn't it? This was back before I realized you can press the record button. Wait a second, and then cut that part out. Editing. Yeah, I'm not very good at editing. Uh, for reference, this video that I'm shooting right now, I'm shooting in one take. I normally just like shoot all my, like if I can, I'll shoot like an hour, 30 minute long like video in one take. It's fine. If you screw something up, you just correct yourself. All right, next we have the Crin. If I remember correctly, this was my first review in this room. You can tell like I was in the center of the room because back then I was the only streaming setup in this room. And there was, oh, there was no carpet. So it's going to sound echoey as hell yeah this room was not optimized all right already like it's a little bit dark you can tell that like i'm still struggling with my setup in this room but let's check it out all right after spending 25 minutes oh my god it sounds like i'm in a fucking concert hall just trying to find the correct screwdriver for this i have found it okay and this is apparently a m2.5 so there are four screws as soon as we get them all out and the nice thing is, you know, the 
the external finishing is, of course, this is a pre-production prototype. Come on, give me the scores. I'd like, oh, and by the way, I shot this review drunk by the 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 group by runners uh, request. In the same way that I would judge like a production one. This I have used. Okay, show me the screw. Let's obviously look at the screw review, the most important part of this channel. Okay, and it's got blocked by a bottle of whiskey. Give me, give me, give me a chance. No. <laughs> Man's drinking straight whiskey while reviewing a board. Let's go. So here are the screws. These are very, very shiny aluminum. Uh, I assume aluminum. these are 304 stainless steel, maybe 316, but very unlikely. Probably 304 stainless steel. They look like they're electroplated. Uh, generally, what I'm looking for is a little bit of gunk around the, uh, the very front of a screw, but I'm not seeing that, which is good means that the threads are decently cleaned and it, the camera is also drunk okay it means that the screws are brand new which is what you love to see now uh, i'd love to see some knurling around the screws that literally accomplishes nothing because you're never going to use your fingers to actually twist these screws you're going to you're going to use a screwdriver so in terms of screws solid 8.5 out of 10. oh yeah they would have been nicer if they had some features that are completely useless because I'm a weirdo, okay? So. All right, that was the best screw review yet. That's a five out of five screw review. I know the audio is super sussy, but that is a five out of five screw review. That's great. Here At least I was perfectly honest. I'm just like, I want weird shit. I want useless weird shit. Thank you. <laughs> five out of five. All right, cuck van. Let's have a look at the screws. Ooh, audio's better. Okay, so yeah, you can tell that I have a rug in the room now, and like I probably set up like some foam on the walls. And up close, yep, those are screws. They are definitely screws. Uh, I rate them screw out of screw. Okay, that is a six out of five screw review right there. <laughs> this is a this is a classic Simon review, by the way, the Cuck Van review. Uh, the typing test is uh, fantastic. <laughs> Why? It's beautiful. Everybody should watch that review. All right. Next, we have the Augur 6G. I really like this board. I really like this board. And if this wasn't a 6G, I would have actually kept it. I think I gave it a glowing review. I love the feel. The feel was like top tier. It was stupid bouncy. I don't. I don't think. I don't think most people would have enjoyed it. Like. It's it's a very very niche like feel that uh, that uh, uh, Jeff the designer was going for. Screws as is customary. Now you will notice that there are two lengths of screws, which is lovely. So these are the screws for the back of the board. I love how nothing and is in focus. These are the screws for the front of the board. It allows you to have the same screw size. What is with me and nothing ever being in focus? It's so good. I mean, to be fair, a macro cam is like really hard to focus. Like if you focus on a thing and something is just a little ways away from it, it's out of focus. And I mean, generally for, for a seamless design board, you will have all the screws at the same level anyway. So this isn't anything huge. Uh, it is theoretically possible that it would have been possible to do this with just one screw length, but hey, it's nice. I, I don't mind as long as it's visually visually easy to figure out which screws go where and logically, you know, big screws go in the back. Let's uh, let's look a little bit more closely here. Oh yeah. Oh let's yeah. Have a look. Show we me. Got one of the long ones right here. See how we feel about this. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice hex head. Ten out of ten cinematicness. There's no knurling around the outside of the screw, but again, knurling accomplishes nothing for a keyboard realistically. We can see that for the long screws, the threads do not make up the entirety of the screw. Just the first bit, and then the rest is just flat. And if we look at the shorter screw, we can see that the shorter screw is all thread. Check that out, all thread. Uh, same head, same everything. Same Great cinematicness, let's go. Same size bit, but yeah, they're decently nice and shiny. You know, the finishing on the screws is quite good, you know. Pee-pee hair. I'd love to oh. see it. The threads themselves look decently clean. 
not the cleanest. Obviously, what do you mean? You can see that looks spotless. A little bit of black gunk down there. I think I'm hallucinating. Between the threads. And generally, I use that as an indication of like how well the threads were cleaned at the factory and during the QC phase. But again, this is fine. Uh, normally, what I'm looking for is like a lot of black gunk on the tip or near the tip. But in this case, screws look pretty good. Uh, if I were to rate these screws out of 10, these are a solid maybe uh, 8 out of 10 screw. Wow, feels bad. Look at me just shit on these screws. That's like a 9 out of 10 screw. That's a 9 out of 10 screw. I mean, if they were gold and flashy and had knurling, maybe 10 out of 10. But the finishing is good. They look good. There's no corrosion. Nice little screws right there. All right, listen. The accuracy of this rating is poor, okay? Those are good screws, okay? Those are solid screws. Like, sure, they're not gold. And sure, they're not knurled. But knurling doesn't do anything. I, I This is a 0 out of 5 screw review. I completely missed the mark on it. All right, next we have the sand glass. Oh, boy. Tiny little case screws that are holding the case together and go with bigger ones. And you guys thought I forgot the screw review, but I didn't, okay? I didn't. I did not. So for, for reference, this is the screw that attaches the top case to the bottom case. And this is the screw that attaches the mid piece to the top, okay? So this tiny one right here is the one that you that you have to struggle. Still, still not in focus. It's amazing. I it's it's a skill, it's a skill. With and get through the plate, through the mid piece and into the bottom piece, and then attempt to thread it in there. With, you know, good luck with that. So, the screws themselves, some are better than the others. Okay, so. These are nice and knurled, very nice. They're an acceptable size. Things like this are not an acceptable size. This is the same screw size that is used for stabilizers, okay? I don't want stabilizer size screws holding together my case. And I know it's not holding much weight, but just, just from an ease of use perspective, I don't wanna strip things, I don't wanna struggle. Just make my build experience easier, please, okay? so. Better case, uh, better case screw handling would be great. Uh, potentially, not necessarily stiffer gasket. Do I not give them a score? Wow. All right, to be fair, the screws are okay. The screws are all right. That's like an eight out of 10 screw, okay? And I don't even give it a score. Uh, the assembly though, they're the wrong screws for the job. And I think that's why like I'm getting so like worked up about it. Like you don't want like the tiniest screw holding a case together, what the hell? Like it's. Like even like forget about the structural like implications. Just like having a fucking deal with it and like get the tiniest screwdriver in there. All right, this this that's barely like a one out of five screw review. Uh uh. All right, vertex arc. Let's go. Did I do a screw review? I did. I did. I did do. I did. I did. I did the the the, the screw. I did do the screw do do. Now let's check out the screws. You guys thought I forgot. I didn't. I never forget. <laughs> All right, so there's our screws. Oh, kind of sussy. Not fantastic. There's also the short screws for the weight. Okay, you guys see how it's starting to get shiny right around the tip? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mm -hmm. coating is starting to wear off. They're, they're all very small screws. To be fair, though, they're not very reflective. They're very black. They're very dark. So when it comes to screwless, at the very least, you're never going to see them, which is good. Okay, no, I do make a good point here, because like, the whole, like if you're gonna do screwless, okay, screwless, as in the screws are up top where you can see them all the time. Apparently, that the hobby decided to call that screwless. If you're gonna do that, at least go like matte black. And to be fair, if you're gonna go with a matte, like a true matte black coating, then your uh, your your threads will get eaten up a little bit. The coating will come off. There's no way to avoid that unless you freaking do like PVD DLC which is stupidly expensive. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Which is good. Unless you're trying to like take it apart in the dark, then you, I mean, you've probably got bigger problems then. Wait, is that it? So that's the case box. That's it. Oh, and the mosque. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoy the musings of the mosque for the next two videos. All right, next we have the 917, let's go. Uh, by the way, I give that screw review, 
the previous one, a two out of five. Okay. Because where was the screw review? There was no screw review. Assume H my head. All right. <gasps> PP hair. Let's check out those screws right there. Oh yeah. Those are good. It's pretty good. We got knurling. Those are good. Yeah. We got uh, black oxide coating. That's good. We can see that the threads are relatively clean. We don't see any gunk towards uh, towards the front of them. Uh, we see that the uh, uh, the uh, the coating is stripping a little bit, but that's fairly standard of uh, of these type of black screws. They're non PVD black screws. They're zinc black screws. They work great. They're fantastic screws. They're magnetic, as you can tell. I can grab it and scan it away. Ferrous. Not bad. And by that I mean ferrous, not magnetic. All right. All right, that is a very, very, like, to the point, very simple, very fast screw review. That is a good screw review. That is a five out of five screw review. I mean, if there was something inherently wrong with it, I would have explained what was wrong and why. But in this case, screws are good. Screws are good. Moving on. All right, last one. We have the Matrix 2.0 ADD Xmas, the most beautiful. <sighs> All right, let's check out the screws. Oh, let's put them on the roundabout. It's very important that the screws are judged on the roundabout. All right, we can see a lot of gunk in them, but then again, this is a relatively old board. It's been dis disassembled a few times. Uh, to be fair, if it's been disassembled a few times, you should not see gunk. You should see uh, potentially a little bit of stripping. But if you see gunk, that's bad. Because if it goes in and out a lot, it's going to clean the gunk up, right? And that gunk will just like fall off. Yeah, so like not great. But you see the gunk is there near the center of the thread, pretty much on all of them. And that's not gunk you want to be seeing, especially if I'm paying $850 for, for a board. I for the record, uh, the 2.0 ADD Xmas was not $850. It was like 720, 740, something like that. Still, uh, my very angry review still has a point. It's still not worth that much money. I expect these crew threads to be pristine the screw tabs to be pristine, and I expect the screws themselves to be brand new, and once they're screwed in, they should not have all that gunk all over the place. That's not what you want to see. The screws themselves are fine. You can see that they've held up very well, uh, given their age. But we do see that gunk, and I am mm -hmm. not a gunk enjoyer. All right, let's open up the back. <gasps> no rating. No rating. Okay, two out of five. Two out of five screw review. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, take that me. <laughs> take that me. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh, all right, I, I was hoping that we'd look at the screw reviews and like they'd improve with time and get like more consistent and like, you know, better uh no turns out i was wrong turns out it's like all over the place sometimes i do good screw reviews sometimes i do bad screw reviews but if this video has taught me anything okay this video has taught me to put more effort into the screw reviews okay i'm gonna make sure that it's top cinematicness that it's top audio quality that it's top visual visual quality as a matter of fact, you know what? Let's let's do a screw review right now. Okay, it's a secret screw review at the end of the video. Okay, let me turn on my macro cam. <clears throat> this is a temporary uh, macro cam that Paul lent me, so uh, it's going to be uh, not indicative of like final screw reviews, but it's something. I do believe I have some screws on my desk. I do. I have the screws for the Caliope or Caliope. I don't know how the hell to pronounce it. All right, let's check it out. Let's go screw review. Boom. Let me remove my overlay. Apologies, I wasn't planning on this. All right, and uh, is autofocus on? It'd be really nice if autofocus was on. All right, all right. Don't mind the the hentai filter, hentai? Okay. Any focusing? Any focusing available? Is it not focusing? Have we hit like our, <gasps> there we go. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a proper, proper screw review, okay? It doesn't start yet, it's still wobbling, okay? We wait for it to stop wobbling. All right, so proper, proper screw review. All right, as you guys can very clearly uh, see right here, we've got a lovely set of screws. 
Uh, these appear to have a nice electroplated finishing over a stainless steel screw. Uh, we've got some knurling here at the tip. And uh, uh, we see that the tip of the threads are very, very clean, implying that the, uh, the board itself and the threads on the board have been cleaned very thoroughly. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, these are clearly aftermarket screws, so some thought was put into actually uh, getting good screws. And uh, these do use a hex bit, uh, which you love to see. Uh, all the screws are of equivalent length, which uh, sometimes is a great thing and sometimes is a terrible thing. So I don't know which one it is. Uh, yes. Uh, so yes, uh, I rate these screws a solid 9.5 out of 10. Solid screw review. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. All right. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're not subbed, drop a sub. If you want to see more content, uh, hop in the Discord, come chill with us, or come chill with us live on stream. And I'll see you guys on the next crew review. Mwah.